Hi there. Let's see. Is it on? Are we on? Are we on? I see the circling. Hi, everyone. Hi, Instagram. Hi, Facebook. So I'm going to give a moment for everyone to join us on live. If you're watching this on the replay, I'm so glad to have you here. My name is Marshawn Evans Daniels. I'm a reinvention strategist. Um, I am passionate about helping women to upgrade their income and their influence while also upgrading their walk with God. And in this season, I am super elated, honored, humbled, and still can't believe that I am a mother to newborn triplets. <laughs> so my babies are about four months old, and um, I have been overjoyed in this season. And so the reason why I am hopping on here today is babies aren't in this video, not right now, but next time, okay? Um, the reason I'm hopping on here today is I have a new book that's coming. <laughs> a new book is coming out. So um, I wanna share it with you. Is that okay if I share the cover with you? And I do it, I'm gonna do it here live. It's literally, in this box, right? My publisher sent it to me and I'm so excited because this is my, do I have a copy of my last book here? I do, but oh, it's in the other room. Didn't think about that. So um, this book is actually a devotional and a journal and it's a follow-up to the book that I wrote two years ago called Believe Bigger, Discover the Path to Your Life Purpose. So I'll go grab it in just a second. And again, if you're just joining me, or if this is your first time hearing about me, maybe someone shares this video with you, um, I believe in no coincidences, but divine appointments. And I know that you're not a mistake and you're here for a very specific reason. Um, I believe that my life is intentional. So that if I show up in someone else's life, that that is because I'm supposed to be a catalyst to ignite that person you, you, or you, or you, or you, or you, or you, into your next season. So I don't believe there's coincidences. So maybe you heard about me because someone shared it. Maybe you heard about me because you saw my big old belly carrying triplet babies, and you're like, I just want to see their journey. It's all good. But I, I know that there's something greater, something more that heaven has in store for you, whether it is in your personal life, in your family, maybe you're believing for marriage, babies, um, a new job, a different income stream, a new um, level in your business. Um, maybe there's a health journey that you're on right now and you're believing God for miraculous health, whatever it is, right? Whatever it is, you're believing for something more. And so I have created a resource that I believe is going to help us, y'all. It's going to help us. Okay, give me one second. I know this is like not the right thing to do, but give me one second. Didn't do that when I was pregnant. Okay, so this is my first, well, my second book, but this is the book that I'm referencing when I use the phrase believe bigger. It's all about discovering the path to your life purpose. And before I open this next, uh, the box to show you, I wanna show you one of the reasons visually why I wrote it. That may be the first time that I ran this year because I was pregnant almost all of this year. That might be the first time that I ran. I ran for y'all, okay? Might be the first time. So. In Believe Bigger, we talk about, you know, um, the mindset that's necessary, the difference between little me and future me. If you don't have it, you definitely want to scoop it. But there's this middle space that we get stuck in, in the purpose journey. And I walk you through the five stages of purpose. This middle place is called the gap. And so many of us are stuck in this wilderness. You know, it's kind of like you're not in your Egypt. You're also not in your promised land and you're in this middle space. Can anybody relate to that? feeling like you're going in circles or just kind of stuck or stagnant or unsure. And a lot of times we end up in the gap because of disruption. We end up in the gap because of disruption. And so I wrote this 2018, traveled around the country, 
talking about believe bigger, talking about getting out of the gap, talking about purpose and destiny and all those great things. But I kept getting this question. And the question I kept getting asked was, well, you put some of these prayers in this book, Marshawn. Like there's a bunch of prayers kind of sprinkled throughout. It's kind of like a workshop with me. Um, and some of you have read it in like a day. Other you, others of you are like, I'm on my sixth reading. Some of you are like, it took me six months because I just had to soak it up with God and angels and heaven to figure out what the Lord hath saith for me. <laughs> All of these, so whether you read it in a day, two days, two months, or if you still or haven't finished it from 2018, we need to have to talk. Something right, okay? But one of the big questions was, you know, how do I really emerge from the gap? How do I, you know, take these prayers that you sprinkled in here and really develop the mindset of faith that's necessary to become this woman that I desire, right? I see some of you are on here on live with me saying, I'm almost done. See, I'll take a little responsibility for you not finishing the original book quickly because I didn't have the opportunity to walk with it, to walk you through it <laughs> completely the way I wanted to. But life, life just keeps happening to all of us, right? Let me tell you something. Disruption is an equal opportunity employer. Disruption does not discriminate. And so in this season, I really feel like my mission and assignment is to help you to believe bigger than your disruption, to believe bigger than what you've been through, and to do so with a level of audaciousness, boldness, and um, supernatural entitlement. Not that you're entitled, like God owes you something, but you have a birthright. And the desires that he places into our heart are for a reason. The Bible says that God will give you the desires of your heart. So, so much of the desire that we have comes literally straight from God as well. And he desires this for us, but we have this conflict. And sometimes that conflict is also a sign of us being in the gap, in that wilderness, in that struggling, in that wrestling. Are you following me? And so I decided I wanted to go a little bit deeper um, into the spiritual development and recalibration that I believe is necessary for us to emerge. And, you know, when I originally wrote Believe Bigger, the subtitle is Discover the Path to Your Life Purpose. The original subtitle that we had was Embracing Disruption. <laughs> and it really is largely kind of designed to help you find your purpose in the middle of disruption. Um, I am delighted to open this and share with you, um, I think, one of the best resources we have for um, embracing disruption, uh, recalibrating ourselves, and going higher, deeper is not listening to another guru. It's not following someone on social media who's going to tell you how to be like them, launch like them, live like them, flex like them. It's not about us following some other personal development regimen or business strategy. We think that it's something external. I believe that it's something um, so intimate, so sacred, and so supernatural that there is only one who can give us what it is that we're really looking for. There is only one. And I believe the answers that we are seeking in this season and the reason perhaps why God has brought you to your knees in this season, he has brought you to a place of, uh, of detoxing from all the things that we're used to having available and that's comfortable, um, familiar. I mean, man, how many times have you said, I just want to get back to how things were. I want to get back to how they, how they used to be. Well, let me tell you something. If you have that mindset, you're going to miss you're going to miss the most wonderful gift that I believe Jehovah Jireh, the God who is the provider, what he wants to provide for us right now. And I'm saying this as somebody who just had triplets in the middle of a global pandemic. Okay. I'm saying this as somebody who was being stretched to believe bigger. I'm saying this as someone who had to deal with the fear of people asking me, 
and telling me, how are you going to have three babies? You're so tiny. And that sounds somewhat like a compliment, but you know what? It created a lot of fear. It really did because what they're really saying is, you're small. How is it possible that you're going to have three babies? Are you, they're, they're looking at the external and saying, how is that going to be possible? But when the word says, greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world, what he's really saying is, greater is my might than anything that human understanding can comprehend. And when I signed the deal with my wonderful publishing partner, Dayspring, to write this book, I had no idea that there would be triplets forming in my belly, that God would bless my womb with three miraculous babies who have been born healthy, 30 toes, not 30 on one baby, but, you know, 10 per baby, <laughs> 30 toes, 30 fingers, just blossoming, blooming, um, gaining weight, different personalities. They're talking now. And I had no idea when I met these wonderful publishing partners that I would be stretched to believe bigger in such a unique, sacred, and literally life-giving way. To believe that this slender temple could bring in three humans into the world. And it happened, y'all. I brought in three babies in six minutes. Despite not only what they were saying, what people were saying, not meaning anything bad. You know, people don't always mean bad when they project their fear onto you. But also, having listened to what the doctors were saying about me being 40 years old and not only being pregnant, but being pregnant with triplets and talking about the risks. And this is, oh man, I get stressed kind of just thinking about how much stuff we have to filter of other people's fear and other people's doubt and other people's reason. And the promises of God do not make sense. They just don't. They don't make sense. They never will, it's not supposed to. And when God gives you an impossible vision, he is daring you to stretch who you are to become a person who believes that that will happen, not just for other people, but will God come through for you? Will he come through for you? And so I'm supposed to write this devotional, right? Sign this book deal find out that I'm pregnant, not just pregnant with one, not two, but three babies. And then, all right, not just pregnant with three babies, I had to write a book and I'm like in shock. <laughs> so I missed my first deadline and my second, probably my third, my fourth. I have the most amazing publishing partners, y'all. They said, we understand we're praying for you. We're rooting for you. Like it's wonderful to work with like real, real believers, not just like sprinkle believers. You know what sprinkle believers are, but we like, the cupcake and everything, and it's all these other ingredients, but the only part that's really Jesus is just the sprinkles, you know, just enough for us to say we're Christians who are doing this or the other, which is what a lot of what's going around here, like sprinkle Christians, they ain't no sprinkle Christians, they like some dumped all the way in, <laughs> literally the word day spring. And so they have been so supportive and so affirming and it's literally the most peaceful business relationship I've ever had in my life. Um, but they still wanted my manuscript, which was very good. So I wrote this while I'm laid up with my feet up, <laughs> um, incubating three babies. And writing in moments where I'm like, God, you know what the doctor said. You know they talked about the risks. You know what they said about maybe it's not safe for us to go all the way with three. Maybe we should just go forward with two. You know what they said about we didn't get this testing done or that testing and they can't confirm if this is healthy or that. You know what they're saying, Lord. And now, Lord, you want me to also, I'm trying to believe. You want me to tell other people how to believe? I'm not the coach right now. I'm not the expert. I'm not the guru. I'm not the one. I don't have, I, how do I have enough for them? I need enough for me right now. You want me to write to other women about how to believe bigger. And I am literally just trying to hear a drop from you that will give me that mustard seed just to believe that this is really going to happen. 
not that it's possible, not that it's happened for others, but you know the journey you've had me on for 40 years, desiring kids. You know the journey you had that I, that I went through when I experienced infidelity and I was a bonus mom and that family felt like it was just ripped away from my soul, my spirit, and my heart when that relationship didn't work out. You know, God, you know, God. I'm not, you're, you're, you're not asking me to write about a business strategy or a launch or how to be successful. You're asking me how to help women to go deeper into your bosom and I'm wrestling to believe that this is really real because you know I can't take a disappointment like this. I just, and I had to realize as I was writing, oh, I can't wait, I'm about to see it. Oh my gosh. Um, I had to realize that sometimes our doubt is not so much that we doubt God. It's that we doubt whether we are important enough to him, for him to come through. We doubt also whether we are worthy enough to be recipients of the blessing, regardless of what we've done, what we haven't done, what we did perfectly, what we did imperfectly. Do we actually believe that we are worthy of an impossible blessing? Do we believe that we are worthy of an impossible blessing? And in this season of disruption, it will require us to believe bigger. I have had to believe bigger in so many different seasons of my life, but there is nothing that compares to seeing three little heartbeats on a monitor, <laughs> right? First of all, being told I was having that's a whole nother story. I'll tell it another day. You got to stay connected to this channel. Okay, I'm going to open it up. Just making sure. Okay. Let me also say that I thought this book has been sitting here for about two weeks. I looked at the ship date. They sent it to me overnight. Uh, it's been here since July the 16th. Um, that's how, you know, we've been a little busy raising three humans and adjusting to being a new mommy. Okay, I'm going to let you all see it first because I love you. Now, let me also say one thing, okay? Let me also say one thing. This book comes out, it'll be, it's, a rate, it's available for pre-order now, it's called 100 Days of Believing Bigger. It'll be in your hands in less than 30 days because it is set to go, you know, this official release date, September 22nd. The business girl in me is like, um, you know, usually I would have started like two, three months ago, had my whole team on it. And my first ministry is my babies and even just my physical body being well enough to, you know, be in this position. And so I'm like, God, please let the women spread the word because I can't do all that stuff. And you, I just don't feel you want me to step out of the miracle that you have me in to try to make the miracle happen for what you've pretty much already written. So if this speaks to you in any way, I not only want you to get this for you, but definitely for another woman. And my hope is that you will read this in community. And oh, for those of you on Instagram, let me share the link with you. Thank you for asking. Here we go, y'all are so sweet. Y'all hear my Texas accent come out? Okay. I um, am like not a true millennial. I forget how to pin. Oh, wait, you got to tag it and pin the comment. Okay. All right. Without further ado, I'm going to close my eyes. Can you see it? How does it look? Wait, you're online. I can't hear you. How does it look? Do you like it? Is it pretty? Is it pretty? Oh, hi, pumpkin. Oh, feels like oxygen. Hey, sweetie. Yo, I'm literally having that feeling like when you give birth. I've given birth to things before, but giving a birth to a baby is different. And I'm literally hearing this baby cry for the first time. Look at it. 
I got to have input on the design from a standpoint of I, I put together a Pinterest board and I shared with them that just kind of what I thought I wanted. Oh my gosh, it's here. Okay, so it's available right now on Amazon. We'll be getting a, hey y'all, Dayspring is on. Hey Dayspring, we all tell Dayspring that you appreciate them, um, their investment in me to get this message out to you. You know, I am so appreciative that they have trusted me to be a, a partner with them in this work. So y'all are familiar with Dayspring, even if you don't know you're familiar with Dayspring, they do all kinds. They've probably got a ton of their Christian products in their in your house right now. Um, from cards to from like just um, journals, devotionals, Bibles, they've got so many great things. So um, they were so sweet to um, let me give great input on here. Um, look at the gold foil. I you know, I believe in abundance and prosperity and the riches and wealth of heaven, whether it's in our health, our finances, in our mind. And to me, that's what gold represents. So you can get this on Amazon right now. We will have a new site that's coming out pretty soon here, um, hopefully by the end of this week. And I'll tell you about how you can get all these special gifts that I have for you. I'm going to be giving you a complimentary workshop that comes with this. But so for now, go ahead and order it, right? If you will pre-order it, save your confirmation email and your receipt number. So that's how you'll come back and be able to get the free workshop. Okay, 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 okay. So, okay, okay. So let's open it up. Let's open it up. Oh my gosh, so it's already designed for being a gift. It says to and from. I didn't even know that was going to be in here. It's kind of hard to see with my little extra ring light. You know, ring lights are great when you haven't had a lot of sleep because you've got three newborns and it kind of gives you an automatic airbrushing. Airbrush. Okay, so it starts. I've got a um, message. you got a message from me. I love how it came out. Oh my gosh, I just said I don't want it to be boring. I want it to be elegant and bold at the same time. This is the layout, a sample of the layout. And so I've broken this devotional into 10 sections. I can't believe this is in my hand. Oh my gosh. So I've broken it out into 10 themes and it's 100 days of believing bigger. Now here's the awesome thing. The reason why I want you to pre-order it now is so that this is in your hands by release day. Um, why is that significant? So I had a meeting with my marketing team maybe two weeks ago and right before the meeting, Holy Spirit said, count the number of days that are left in the year when the book comes out on September 22nd. So I count the number of days, carry the one. Guess what? There's a hundred days left in the year. <laughs> When I told the marketing team that, they're like, no way. And I was like, y'all check my math. Check my math. The best thing I add is money. So just check my math just in case, okay? And um, they're like, there's 100 days left. Right? So I believe this will be a way that we can finish the year together, believing bigger, not for next year, but for the next decade. That's my prayer. That's my intention with this is that this would give you a spiritual internal recalibration to take a hundred days to finish your year bold, not just strong, but bold. That's what God desires of us is for a new level of boldness to come out. And um, so that's, 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 that's the awesome thing about the timing. Again, it's broken into 10 different themes, 10 different themes. And there's 10 devotionals within each theme. So 100 seems like a lot, but 10 doesn't, right? So for each theme, you'll have 10 days of marinating in that theme. So an example, the first theme in here is trust, right? Trust, we start with trust. And as you go through the section on trust, it's designed in a unique way. And I'm really appreciative also of Dayspring kind of letting me use a format that I believe works well. It's how I actually journal, which is one scripture per day as opposed to multiple scriptures per day. And listen, I'm the more girl. I'm the believe bigger girl, all those things. However, like I have trouble remembering a whole bunch of scriptures at one time. Maybe it's just me. 
like you might be better at that than me but for me like god can keep my attention best with one to go deeper and deeper and deeper as a way to go higher as opposed to trying to eat so much at one time and so i take one scripture per day very manageable and then you get one solid lesson right and after the lesson you have a place in here already where you can journal didn't they do a beautiful job on the layout I'm so excited about that it's already lined you can devotional and the thing about this also is that you're able to underline right the parts that you like and i am a big i'm a big person who likes to write on things physically especially since we live in such a digital world again for those of you asking if you're on facebook the link is in the caption where you can get this on um on amazon directly and then i also put it in this um for Instagram as well too, where you can get it on Amazon, pre-order it, save your receipt, save your receipt, and then make sure you're following my page so that you can come back and see how you can get the complimentary workshop that we're going to be going through. Y'all, I'm so glad to be talking to y'all. I'm so glad to have some lashes on. Let me just pause for a second and say that because I was like, do I still remember how to put makeup on? Because my uniform every day, I will not show you exactly because the only thing I really did differently today beyond, beyond putting makeup on is I just put on a nice jacket, but let me just be honest with you, this is a nursing bra. <laughs> I'm usually covered in milk, and I have on my same little workout pants with the two pockets so that I can put bottles on both sides, and I put, like, whatever Bible thing I'm reading today in the back. Now I'll be able to put this in the back of my pockets while I put the, bo the bottles on the side, hold one baby. I can take a bottle, one bottle in one hand, one baby in the other, two bottles on the pockets, and then I'll put my little devotional in the back. And that's how we go from upstairs to downstairs in the morning. Um, so I'm just glad to have some makeup on, be talking to you about the most important thing in our lives right now, and it's what God wants for us. So um, again, it's broken into 10 sections. Um, it, I don't know any other sections, I'll tell you that. So it's trust, purpose, identity, ooh, disruption, belief, and faith, um, what's other, blessing blockers. Ooh, it's gonna step on your toes. It's gonna step on your toes, but it's going to, um, again, this is about recalibration. That's the word that's in my spirit for this season is recalibration. We got stillness, blessing and obedience. Obedience. I'm hoping that you won't take such a harsh approach to the word obedience when going through this. Um, to me, obedience really means to align with what God is already doing, what he's made available, and to say yes to the um, provision that he's made, provision and protection that he's made. God's not looking at us like this. He's really saying, come like this. The opportunity to be in obedience is the opportunity to be in blessing. So that's why it's called blessing and obedience. We got a, a theme on significance. And I believe this is the last one, courage. No, yes, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got 10 sections in here. And let's see what happened to Facebook. Well, I don't know if y'all are still there. It says trouble. So hopefully y'all are still with me. But um, it's available again now on Amazon. I hope that you will get one for you, but also for other women in your life and that you will consider doing this in community. You will do it in community. I'll be hopping on regularly um, as much as I can <laughs> with my life. I can't schedule things as normally I normally would, but um, I will be going through a few of these devotionals with you, at least sharing a piece. And um, let me just, someone give me a number. Someone pick a number, give me a number, any number, and I will, between one and a hundred, give me a number between one and a hundred, and I'll read 